Hello everybody, my name is Maggie and I'm from Weller Health Education at Lehigh Valley Riley Children's Hospital. What Weller does is we're in charge of teaching really awesome health programs to people of all ages. And today we're talking about a really awesome topic that I think is so important, especially for younger people to learn a little bit more about. And that is body image. In today's day and age of social media, we are bombarded by pictures and images every single day of social media influencers and celebrities who constantly face tune and edit their photos. And this editing is creating a lot of really unrealistic expectations of how our bodies should appear, especially on social media. So I want to talk a little bit more about body image, talk a little bit more about self-esteem, and just overall creating a nice little conversation about body positivity. All right, everybody, let's get started. All right, everyone, so let's get started talking a little bit more about body image. So like I said in my intro, because of things like social media, our image of ourselves is really starting to get warped and distorted. And a lot of kids are growing up in a world where we believe these expectations should be met for our body image, especially when we're having these pictures being edited by a lot of different celebrities out there. So what do I mean when I say body image? What am I talking about when I say that? So body image is a combination of the thoughts and feelings that you have about your body. So we all have some kind of body image. What we see in the mirror is kind of what our body image is. However, what we see can really be distorted sometimes. Sometimes we may look one way, but when we look in the mirror, we see something else. So this can bring up a lot of issues with people, especially if we start to have these really bad expectations. We look in the mirror and feel like our bodies are not meeting those expectations. We're supposed to have this perfect hourglass figure. Our bodies are supposed to look a certain way, especially in different cultures out there too. So our body image can really take a toll, especially when we see these pictures that kind of raise our expectations and when we can't meet them, it can really take a toll on our, our self-esteem. So the thing is, in life, people are constantly making comments about our physical appearance and when those comments are made, they can really be internalized for life. Human beings, you guys, have really good memories. People can remember things that you say to them for years to come. I remember things that people said to me when I was just a little kid. Human beings can really remember things for life. So we have to be aware of the comments that we're making. We especially have to be aware of those comments when it relates to somebody's body, especially about things like weight and about muscle tone too. Sometimes we say things offhandedly that we don't think are a big deal, but somebody can really take that and internalize it and can really cause a lot of issues about how we perceive ourselves. For example, when my sister was younger, she was always super, super tiny, really, really thin girl. But when she got to high school, she started to develop like most girls and she still looked like a normal girl, but she looked a little bit different than she did when she was say 11 years old and she was stick thin. Somebody made an offhanded comment saying like, oh, you look a little bit different now. You look a little bit fuller. And for my sister, that was a really big deal. That girl who made that comment kind of thought it was innocent, but for my sister, that was actually a really impactful comment. She started to perceive herself differently, believing that she had gained a lot of weight, that her body had looked dramatically different, when in reality, she looked like every girl who was around her. So we have to be very aware of those comments that we're making. Sometimes we should actually just keep some comments to ourselves, even if you think that comment is a really positive thing, especially when it comes to things like weight loss. When we see somebody lose a lot of weight, our first instinct is to say, oh my god, you look so amazing, you look so much better than you did before. But that may sound like a positive comment, but when somebody hears that, in their head they're probably thinking, oh, well, I must have looked really bad before. I've spent all these years being overweight, and I guess that was a bad thing. So we have to make sure we are being aware of those comments that may sound innocent, but actually can, can be very harmful in the long run. Those comments that we make are only made worse on things like social media, on things like technology, when we're sending texts to people, when we're posting comments, videos, uh, DMs to different people, these different comments that we make are made so much worse. Because people are hidden behind a screen, we think that gives us the right to say whatever we want, to insult somebody down to their very core. When we're making those comments, even if that person is a stranger, they may see that comment and that will really do some serious damage to their mental health and to their self-esteem. So we have to be extra careful, especially when we're online. People are constantly being bombarded by so much hate and just really vile comments on a daily basis. And that leads to things like cyberbullying as well. 
Now, a really big issue, why a lot of this has started, why we have to talk about body image is because of social media. A lot of things online are being promoted that actually create really unhealthy expectations of ourselves and different standards that no human being can ever meet, especially when things like photos are being edited. A lot of the celebrities that you guys see online, for example, people like the Kardashians, every time they post a picture, that picture is going to be edited multiple times, whether it's things like Facetune or things like Photoshop. They are constantly taking taking those photos that they pose them down to the point where they barely even look like the original photo anymore. And then we see that on social media and think that is actually how they look like and that's the way my body is supposed to look like as well. It really drives me crazy too when a lot of celebrities post different advertisements for things like flat tummy teas or different weight loss programs saying, hey, I just drank this tea or I did this cleanse or I did this diet and that's how my body looks like this. And if you want to look like this, you just have to buy this too. Those things are so harmful, you guys, and never buy into that. These celebrities who look the way they do, it's due to things like, number one, unfortunately, cosmetic surgery. A lot of celebrities get surgeries and will never tell a single soul about it. And they just expect you to believe they achieved that look completely naturally by drinking this tea or doing this diet. And another big reason they look the way they do is because a lot of these people are incredibly rich. They can pay so much money to to trainers and private nutritionists and private chefs who cook them these perfectly healthy meals and help them design a workout that fits their schedule because a lot of them don't have the schedules that working people do. So we have to make sure we're never listening to these celebrities when they say, oh, I look this way and so can you by buying this product. Those are advertisements, you guys, and trust me, they don't even use those products themselves. Now, you guys, a lot of the big problem that we see with body image is that we believe that if we eat a certain way and we work out a certain way, that's how we achieve that ideal look. But the thing is, body size is determined by many factors, such as genetics, access to health care, education, and also our personal environment. Some people live in areas where access to certain healthy foods is really difficult. Sometimes the closest gym is 45 minutes away and you have to take two buses to get there. We can't just assume that you can suddenly change overnight and suddenly change your entire health disposition. There are some people out there who are incredibly thin, but they actually have really high cholesterol or heart problems or diabetes, but we don't shame them. Instead, we'll shame somebody who is typically in a larger body and say, oh, well, if you just lost weight, all of those things will will go away. Being healthy does not equal being skinny. Somebody can be skinny on the outside, but actually have a lot of health issues on the inside. And just because you may see somebody who is overweight, we cannot assume that they are suddenly super unhealthy. So the best behaviors when it comes to exercise and what you put inside your body may not be as physically healthy on the inside. There are some people who are super thin or super muscular, but they achieve that by doing really extreme diets or extreme workouts. A lot of really muscular men online that we see on TikTok and on Instagram, they are super in shape, they are super thin and super muscular, but they got that way because they had different kinds of disordered eating. So they completely restricted the food that they were eating and sometimes even even work out a little bit too much. So we can't always assume that somebody's in shape, that means they are completely healthy. And if somebody is quote unquote out of shape, that means they are unhealthy too. When people see somebody who is typically larger, especially in advertisements, we say, especially on social media, oh, they're promoting obesity. They're promoting unhealthy behaviors. But when we see somebody who's smoking in a movie, do we say the same thing? If we see somebody who's very thin and they achieve that look by unfortunately an eating disorder, do we call them unhealthy? Do we say they are promoting unhealthy behaviors? Typically, no. We commend them for being thin and say, oh, that is the way we all have to look and good job on them for having the control to get super thin that way, even though they did it in a really toxic way. And you guys, you have to understand in life, everybody comes in different shapes and sizes. There is no such thing as the perfect 
body type. Body types literally go in and out of style. They are different from culture to culture, and we can't assume there is one look that is perfect for everybody. Like I said, our body types change due to things like genetics, due to where we are in life. We may have been super tiny as little children, but then as we matured and developed, our bodies naturally change as the way they're supposed to. Body shapes and sizes are naturally diverse, as is everything else in nature. When you guys go walking in the forest, when you guys go for a hike, is every single tree that you see exactly the same? No, no two trees or flowers are exactly the same, just as no two people will be exactly the same. And we can't assume that everybody should look the same way. Not everybody is meant to be a certain shape or a certain size. We are all different and that is okay. And we should never shame somebody for not having the same body as we do or judging them or putting them down. We have to remember, you guys, that we always have to make sure we are working on our self-esteem. No matter what you see on social media, make sure in life you are always having a positive self-esteem. Self-esteem means being happy with who you are and that there are different and positive ways to describe yourself. Like I said, everybody is different and that is an amazing thing in this world. No two people are born the same and no people, two people grow up the exact same way. It is always better to describe ourselves in positive ways. We want to make sure we are lifting ourselves up and not bring ourselves down. We want to be body positive about our physical looks and also the way we are inside. Saying that we are confident, we're beautiful, we're amazing, and we're also enough. We are enough, you guys. It's not like one day you suddenly change overnight and that'll make the difference in our lives. We are enough in this moment, in the future, and also in the past. Alright you guys, so I hope this is an interesting topic. I hope everybody learned a little something new about body image, body positivity, and self-esteem. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!